Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Michaela and here we talk all about reselling online in Australia, saving items from landfill and some eco-friendly business tips along the way. So recently I went through my entire eBay store and put stale old stock on auction at cost price just to clear it out. So that resulted in over 500 auctions. So my last two videos explain a little bit more on that and the first lot of auctions that ended and what sold so the second round of those auctions have now ended so let's go through what sold over the weekend entirely so all of the standard sales and full price sales plus all of those auction sales. And then I went around to the garage sales on Saturday and to Lifeline to do a bit of thrifting. So I'll take you through what I picked up. Okay, starting off the full price sales for the weekend is one Poshmark sale, which are these itty bitty Beck and Bridge shorts. They went for $20 plus postage. Moving on to the eBay sales, we've got this really nice dusty pink dress that went for $15 plus postage. A brand new Decuba t-shirt, this went for $18 plus postage. A cute tiered seed heritage dress, this one went for $25 plus postage. A brand new with tags Roxy shift dress, I picked this up at the last garage sale I went to and it went for $25 plus postage. A really nice Lula Life dress, this went for $30 plus postage on offer. This wild top with all the embellishments, this one went for $25 plus postage. We then have a little bundle sale, so on top is this like tropical robe and then a little boho tiered dress and this bundle went for $35 plus postage. Super comfy boho dress from Feather and Noise. This went for $28 plus postage. This is such a cool top from French Connection. I have had this top sell a couple of times and then cancel from unpaid orders. I then actually sent this top and it got returned to me because the sender didn't write their address correctly. And now it has sold again and I hope to never see it again. <laughs> So this went for $10 plus postage. A super funky skirt from Gorman. Now this one I actually trialed. It was a little bit of online arbitrage. I think I got it from Depop. Um, it just sat around for way too long and I finally took an offer for $65 plus postage. Finally, in the full priced clothing sales on eBay, we've got these beautiful Jeans West shorts. And these went for $18 plus postage. Moving on to some more full price sales on eBay. We've got these Mimco slides, really nice. They are brand new. And these went for $42 plus postage. Next up are these really cool Blowfish sneakers. And they went for $20 plus postage. Funko Pops are just slowly ticking over. We've still got plenty over there, but these two went this week. This one went for $24 free shipping and this one went for $20 free shipping. Moving on to the auction items on eBay. Jumping into the clothing, we've got this pair of Swan Dry pants. These went for $8.50 plus postage. Next up, just a basic brown button up top. This went for $5 plus postage. A little bundle sale of these two review cardigans. This one is on an older tag and then we've got this bright one and I used rockabilly in the keywords. They went for $10 plus postage. A really nice linen dress from W Lane. This went for $5 plus postage. A very cool vintage dress with the drop waist. These awesome buckles on the sleeves. That is the tag there. This one went for $10 plus postage. This dress is silk and it's from a brand called Catchall, but it is a quite a dated style. So this one went for $5 plus postage. This weekend saw a bunch of bundle sales and that makes me really happy. I love selling bundle deals and a bunch of customers got awesome, awesome deals just before Christmas. First bundle is four items. We've got this really nice fit and flare dress from Taquito, a silver witchery top, this awesome lace boho blouse, 
and a purple party dress. This all went for $20 plus postage. Next bundle starts with this beautiful fit and flare dress from Veronica Main. Then we've got this really nice pair of khaki pants from Sportscraft, a very cool ruched skirt and a dress from Kukai. And this bundle went for $20.50 plus postage. There's a gentleman out there who is now set for golf for life. This bundle was a really good deal for them. Five polo shirts, all from this old course St. Andrews Lynx brand. Uh, they're all the same size. So five of those shirts, they went for $10 plus postage. This last bundle has six items in it and this customer definitely got a deal. Now I wanted to talk about this brand in particular because they bought all of the same brand, which is Taking Shape. Now Taking Shape is also the same, same brand that does a Please and Virtuelle and Virtue. Now they're all under the same banner. I used to pick up this brand all the time whenever I saw it and it used to sell really well but it has absolutely dropped off a cliff for me. I'm not selling any of this brand's pieces anymore and there is a lot of this brand in my cost price auction sale. So let's go through the pieces so you know what to look out for in the op shops and it's up to you if you wanna give this brand a go but I am certainly not picking it up anymore. So starting off, we've got this sleeveless top on the top from just your classic taking shape brand. Brand new with tags, little wrap dress, a standard shift dress, nice and stretchy. This floral dress, a brand new with tags jacket. And finally, a yellow blouse from Virtuel. And all of this went together for $35 plus postage. Moving on to the last of my auction pieces. We've got this pack of Johnny Walker 200 years celebration little bottleneck ties. And I picked up a whole heap of these from an op shop about a year ago for 50 cents each. They were slowly selling, but they've just dropped off. So I added them to the auction. So this packet went for $5.50 plus postage. A racing cap, this one went for $5.50 plus postage. And lastly, a little bundle deal of these Macca's cups. These went for $5.99 plus postage. So the garage sales on Saturday, I did leave it a little bit late when I went around to them and I didn't find too much, but here's what I found. Starting off is two personal pickups. So I got these gorgeous starfish Christmas ornaments. They were two for $5. And then just a little boggle play set just to have in our cupboard. Then I picked up these two VHS tapes. Now I have not looked them up. I might pop comps on the screen. I don't know if they were worth it yet. So this is the original Wiggles and being the original set of four Wiggles and Christmas was why I picked it up. And then HR Puffin stuff, anything from these guys seems to do really well. So I figured the VHS might do well as well. Next up is this set of glow mesh pieces. So I got the whole set for $10. It's all matching. It's a purse, a belt, and the wallet. And I'm so glad with this price. It's a great price. And also when I picked it all up, it didn't have the chain with it. And so I asked the lady, I'm like, oh, do you happen to have the chain anywhere? And she's like, hmm, I, have, I don't know. I'll get your number and I'll call you later and see if we can find it. And then she's like, hang on, walked over to this stand of random jewelry that she had and it was just sitting there hanging up with the necklaces. So remember guys, anytime you're unsure about something or wanna double check, always ask a question at a garage sale. I then had plenty of time left after these garage sales. So I headed into Lifeline and I cleaned up. I did really well. And now I have plenty of stock to list on my eBay store. So let's go through what I picked up. First up are some personal pickups for Bub. So I got these gorgeous ocean themed cotton muslin wraps and they are so cute. They were a dollar each and then a basket for 50 cents. And then all of these little goodies for 50 cents each. I 
I spent a total of $173. All of these pieces were between five and $8. Uh, my Lifeline is a little bit more pricey than the rest of my uh, local op shops, but I always find good stuff in there. So let's go through it. This pair of leather shoes from Planet Shoes, a cute boho cotton jumpsuit. It's brand new with tags. This is just a boho brand, nothing amazing, but being this style and brand new with tags, it's just an easy flip. Really cool, like jungle themed jumpsuit from Forecast. Beautiful wrap dress. I've never seen this brand before. I'm pretty sure it's 100% silk. It feels like it, but I'll have to do a bit more research before I list it. Cutest button up shirt. This one is from Tommy Hilfiger. Gorgeous multicolored top from Yarra Trail. Animal print top from Maggie T. Really nice quick dry shirt from Katmandu. A pure silk corporate singlet from David Lawrence. 100% linen button up from Jump. These were a personal pickup, a really nice pair of 100% linen white pants. Gorgeous boho top from Yarra Trail. A very funky pattern in this dress. It's got a slight cowl neck. This one is from Q. So this dress is just a really funky style. It's really thick and it's brand new with tags. Now this brand cup she is not amazing, but being all of those other things put together is why I picked it up. This is a 100% silk dress from Zimmerman. Now even though Zimmerman is an amazing brand, this is an older style and it does have a mark on the front. So I don't expect to get major money for this one. And the cutest fit and flare dress from Princess Highway. Continuing on with the next pile, we've got this little undergarment from MacPack, a midi linen dead stock dress from Katie's. So this is a really old piece still with the original tags. Nice little throwover linen piece from Yarra Trail. Super soft pajama top. This one is from Emirates. So I haven't looked it up yet. Airline branded pajamas can go for really good money. A little set of no name brand dungarees, but dungarees are just a really easy quick flip. So I haven't seen this before. It's Lorna Jane Life. They're just some jeggings, but I thought I'd just give them a go since Lorna Jane does so well by itself. The next three pairs of shorts are incredible. They are dead stock from the 80s, brand new, never worn, super high waisted. Look at these old tags. There's that one, and then the next two, hot pink, amazing. They're the tags there, super high waisted again. Just amazing to find something of this quality dead stock just in an op shop. Beautiful ruffle sleeve corporate top from Portman's. A little singlet from Lorna Jane. Brand new with tags skirt from Q. How funky are these pants? They are hot pink corduroy jeans with the tag. Something like this, I will put Barbie as a keyword in the listing with the new movie coming out and just this colorway as well. Basic pair of jeans from Thomas Cook. And finally, a moleskin pair of jeans from David Lawrence. So like I said, I paid $173 for all of the items at Lifeline and conservatively, if each item went for $20, then this is the profit that I would be left with. So for an hour of thrift at Lifeline and then obviously photographing, listing, storing and then shipping out. It's a pretty good return on my investment. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you out for when you're out treasure hunting what to actually pick up and look for. If you haven't already then hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to see more reselling content in Australia. Happy treasure hunting everyone!